Welcome to Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking is celebrating our 20th anniversary of bringing you the Gulf Coast's finest chefs cooking their delicious recipes with natural gas. This show is brought to you by Pensacola Energy. Clean, efficient, natural gas. And now, Coastal Cooking. My guest today is chef and owner George Macris from the Hip Pocket Deli Food Truck and also Brandon Willig is also a chef on the food truck. We are so pleased to have you all today. Thank you for having us. George, you've got some special food truck recipes for us. Yes, Tell us what the first one is. We have two of our po' boys that we put on special. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. be doing a chicken marsala po' boy and a blackened grouper po' boy with a pineapple mango salsa. Wow. That is some food truck food there. Well, we have our regular menu, but we try to shine on our specials. Oh, that's wonderful. I can't wait to see how these go together. What's our first Thank step? You. First step, we're going, to, we're going to season and cook off the chicken. So what I like to do is put a little oil on the chicken so whenever you season it, we'll put a little salt and pepper on it. Go ahead and get a little bit of butter. And this is a chicken marsala. Chicken marsala. This is going to be a special pool boy, right? I Curse love chicken it. marsala, so this will be another. Oh yeah. Another style to enjoy that. So we're going to put a little a little butter in here. Mm -hmm. And Brandon, you are prepping for the marsala. Yeah, just doing a little. Uh, doing the knife work. work. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and we'll let this cook, and we'll start browning it off. Perfect. How long have you uh, had your food truck? The food truck now, I'd say a little over five months. And uh, I have heard rave reviews. Okay. Really, George, you are just doing a great, uh, great business. And, you know, your motto ought to be, have food truck, we'll travel. <laughs> yeah. Don't come to us, we'll come well, to that's you. That's <laughs> right. How, how, yeah. What a great concept. Yeah. It really yeah. is, because... You can cater out of it. You can set up and have lunch and dinner. Absolutely. And, and the great thing is uh, we get to see the uh, the expressions from everybody with the food. We're not, you're not we're stuck not, in a kitchen. We're not you? stuck in a kitchen. We're right there. We get to see how everyone enjoys everything. Uh -huh. We get to go around. So it's been it's been great. And uh, it, it's been great. We're going to keep it going. Well, great. We're glad to have you. Thank you and for having us. And I know there's us. Uh, other food truck starting up all the time. So uh, Absolutely. We look forward to it. Great concept here in Pensacola. Absolutely. For the sauce, while this is cooking, what we'll mm -hmm. do is we'll do some of the sauce. We're going to throw a little butter. I'd like to start with a little butter in here. We are really cooking with gas today. Oh, we? yes we are. We're going to have it all going. going. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to start with some butter, and then we're going to put, I like baby bellas, some, uh, mm -hmm. so we'll put some mushrooms in here with the butter and let it cook. Some creminis. That's great. And we do want all of our viewers to, uh, many of them probably will remember the Dainey Dell. And that yes. is your family. Yes, yes. So you bring a lot of your Greek heritage and the food you grew up on to certain dishes. I grew around my father and my family that all cook. We're going to put a little garlic and shallots in here as well. But yes, I, I grew up with them and I got to watch them cook. and. So that's where I picked up here mm -hmm. and there and learned in the kitchen from my father and everyone else. And I decided I loved the, I, I loved working with food. I love food. So we'll put some garlic and shallots in here. We're going to put a little, a little salt, a little pepper. Mm -hmm. Well, the Dainey Dell was a food favorite. Yes, thank you. For many years, wasn't it? All right. And then... We're going to let that saute down a little bit. Looks good. And these are our poor boy buns, mm -hmm. Brandon. Yes. Now, Brandon, you have some great chef experience behind you, don't you? And you told me you had just come back from St. Croix? Yes, it's been, uh, it's been the past couple of years out in uh, St. Croix. I'm making the chef out there. Uh, just recently got back to Pensacola. Mm -hmm. And honestly, yeah, just kind of spending you some time. You all kind of grew up together, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. actually went to uh, high school together as well. That's wonderful, having a great friendship that started yes, that early. Yes, we did. 
Can you pass me the Marsala wine and the Demi? What we did was we added a little Worcestershire to, to it. Okay. Now we're going to deglaze the pan with some Marsala wine. We'll let that reduce a second. Mm. Here comes the aroma. The aroma, that's exactly what it's doing. <coughs> it's deglazing it the is. bottom of the pan. You want to get out all the blue particles, all, don't you? Absolutely. Right Basically, whatever seasoning is. and everything you did, it's going to bring all that flavor up mm -hmm. off the bottom of the pan. So many people want to just scrape that out, don't they? Yeah. Big mistake. You got to incorporate those, don't you, in the sauce? Absolutely. All right. Then what we did was we have a little demi sauce we made. We'd like mm -hmm. to add a little body to it. We'll put a little demi in it. All right. And then... Our chicken breast looks great. Are you, and you're going to toast the bun? Yes, we're going to... We'll put a little... We'll put a little uh, butter down on, on here to where we can mm -hmm. toast the bun. And while this is reducing, you want it to reduce a little. Will you pass me the heavy cream, please? I'm going to put a little heavy cream in here. You know, this is so versatile. It's great over pasta. Oh, it in, is. In you can do this over pasta, a sandwich. Oil. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. As a, a meal itself, you could mm -hmm. even do it as. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze at the, at the very end of this. Basically, we've got the whole sauce in here going. We're going to squeeze a little bit of lime juice in here. Oh. Can I have the microplane, please? Which actually, excuse me, you already zested something. We're going to put a little lime zest in here as well. Oh, to get that really good flavor. Huh? Yep. Yeah, it'll bring it all out. All right, and basically we're just going to let that reduce down and it'll thicken. And then the chicken, you just want to, there we go. We got some nice coloring on our chicken. Mm -hmm. And then the bread. We're just going to take our fresh po' boy bread and let it crust up. Wonderful. That looks like it's just about there. And then the marsala, you can see exactly. Wonderful, yeah. It's thickening up, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mm, rich and creamy. Rich and creamy sauce, absolutely. Yeah. Let so sandwiches go. are not all you have on the menu there. We do you? sandwiches, subs. We do uh, gyros, Reuben's, Philly cheesesteaks. Uh, the gyros come off the rotisserie. We have a souvla, so we, we make those. Um, and then our specials we throw on, mm -hmm. you know, we'll throw our different specials on to, like I said, whatever, like uh, we've done brats, we've done different things, fish. Mm -hmm. uh, I rotisseried a 90 pound pig. We broke it down. We did a uh, 90 fresh, pound pig? Yeah, we did Almost a fresh. as much as I weigh. We did a fresh <laughs> hog for the truck. Uh, so we did some fresh barbecue. So we try to mix it up a little and have a little fun on the truck. And, That's so great. Yeah, exactly. Do and a little, you know, you're little so bit close and personal. People can probably watch oh, you cook all of this. Absolutely. Things. And that's what we love. We keep everything. Uh, as clean as possible because it's a visual thing. We want people mm -hmm. to be able to That's come right. up, see That's right. whatever. They come to the back of the truck, they look. So, yeah. And your truck is so unique. Got Thank all you. the equipment in there. You've got room for how many cooks back there that help you? We've put about five people in the truck, which is, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Depending on how busy we are and what festival we do or anything like that, it just depends, but we'll put five people in the truck. That's right. All right. This looks like it's about ready, huh? Yes, it does. Perfect. And we got another special po' boy. What is that, Yes, George? we do. The other po' boy we're going to start is a uh, blackened grouper uh, with a pineapple mango salsa. Oh. All right, so we'll go ahead and get that one going as well. We'll turn chicken off. All right. This sauce is almost done. We'll go ahead. Can I have the other po' boy bread, too? Thank you. We'll go ahead and get that going. Uh, what I like to do with the fish as well, we got local fresh snapper from Maria's mm -hmm. Seafood. They gave us a beautiful, beautiful cut. What we like to do is I like to put a little oil on the fish first to blacken it so the seasoning will stick a little better. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I didn't know this about Maria's either. They actually sell their own brand of blackening, which which is amazing. Oh, I didn't know that either. I did not know that, but it's an amazing product. So we go ahead and throw that all over the fish as well. I like heavily blackened. So, I mean, it just depends on what you want. You want to lightly blacken it, heavily blacken. 
but for me the the fruit salsa will kind of take away from the the blackening favor so it'll all it'll, compl it'll, it'll complement it'll everything. all complement one another exactly mm -hmm. so in here no. What we can do is we'll do a little butter in the skillet over here, getting ready to cook the fish. Now you can substitute, of course, different types of fish for the snapper. Yes, yeah, snapper, grouper, whatever, you know, whatever you, all right. And you whatever can, you catch, huh? Yeah, whatever you catch, pretty much. And you can see the marsala, how it kind of thickens oh, up a little. Yeah. It's ready to go. So what we can do is we can turn. You don't want it too runny on a poor boy. You don't do want you? it too runny, but you want it to, yeah, exactly, be able to sit on top of that yes. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So there we go. And we'll go ahead and get ready with the fish. I like to start skin side up. Okay. Because whenever you flip it, you'll be on the front side that you need to serve it, mm -hmm. which we've got a nice, beautiful piece here. This is for one poor boy? It's a mighty big piece. Normally we would probably cut yeah, it down a little bit, say, but yeah, we could probably get two poor boys out of this. I don't but know where you find bun to fit that. Yeah, I mean we get different size buns. I should have brought bigger ones. I've got a big 10 inch one, but we're using a six inch bun. Uh-huh. So we'll go ahead and get these buns going. Looks good. Now and what's going into your salsa, Brandon? Um, we have some fresh pineapple, some fresh mango, mm -hmm. some cilantro some lime, a little salt, pepper, and a little shallots. Mm. Good tropical fruits. Oh yeah. Perfect. And our bread is looking good. Yeah, we're almost there with that. So basically with the first sandwich, what we could do, We could go ahead and normally what would we do? We'd fill it all up with chicken, but mm -hmm. set that there. Basically what we'll do from here is we'll just top it with some, some marsala sauce. Doesn't that look delicious? That looks amazing. Mm, perfect. Which is a all right. Beautiful. And then we'll top it with some fresh grated. Oh, Parmesan there's more. Cheese. And it's good to go, huh? And that one is, yes, ma'am. That one is good to go. How nice. Beautiful presentation. Okay, right, now we got with our the, fish going. Yes, ma'am. We got the fish going on this one. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you also do catering events. Yes, ma'am, we do. We do, um, we can do anything from a small house party or a large wedding of 200. We have a catering crew and we have catering equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're able to take the truck out and cook whatever we need to cook. And, and just go to weddings and park right there at the reception area? Some people are, have a food truck fad right now and they want us to park it right there. Uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, we'll park it there, park it wherever, you know, we need to, to do yeah. it, but we'll we'll cater the, the wedding right out of the truck. That's great. And you know, you can use that food truck all year long. It's been, yeah. it's been great. We've been doing local festivals. We've mm -hmm. been doing the, the caterings. We've been doing house parties. We've been doing, we have you know, everyone's been supporting us. The military's been supporting us. Yeah. Um, so so it, it, it has been. We've got a little outdoor seating. Mm -hmm. We're located at Brankus and Old Quarry. We seat about 32 people. In the people. same hip pocket deli. It used to be a restaurant. Right, right across the street from where our old location was. Right. Exactly. We're right, right there on the corner, and we have some outdoor seating, and mm -hmm. we're open 10:30 to 3, and then after hours and on weekends, we tend to do the. So that's Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, for lunch? For lunch, exactly. And then on the weekends and off days, we tend to do the, the travel. festivals and the, yep, you travel. travel a little bit, exactly. So you have a driver? Are you the driver? <laughs> I'm usually the driver, but I do, yes, yes. We have, I have a couple, couple uh, employees that uh, we have, and we also oh, take good. the, we have other vehicles so we can all, oh, okay. exactly. It takes a lot of coordination, I know that. It, it does, it does. That's the only thing is the timing with the food truck. You yeah. better make sure you have everything prepped and on the truck. Yeah, you're right. All right, so with this so one. So this we, is ready to go? We are getting right there, yes. All right, our fish looks perfect. 
And look at our salsa. Salsa, And this yes. is better when it sits up a little while. Yes. The oil. Exactly. Whenever you make your salsa, if you let uh -huh. it sit in the refrigerator for a while, all those ingredients seep in once again. Oh, and they, they just oh, marry and... Absolutely. Just... Absolutely. It's amazing. So we've got all of our ingredients in here. The onion, the uh, mango, pineapple. Mango, pineapple, shallots, a little bit of garlic. And you know, with, with, with the salsa, cilantro, you can... A little bit of oil. You can always grill it and enhance the flavor as well, That's right. if you wanted to. That's right. You could always grill the mango or yep. the pineapple. That's right. Well, we're going to let our fish cook a little bit longer. Yes. When we come back, we will have this ready to go. Sounds great. Okay, we'll be right back after this. Did you know that BTU for BTU natural gas can be up to 50% cheaper than electricity? And did you know Pensacola Energy is offering rebates up to $1,000 when you switch from an electric water heater to natural gas? In the end, it's your money. You can put it in your pocket, or you can watch it go down the drain. Contact Pensacola Energy to learn how you can start saving now. Heat pumps don't pump much heat. In fact, heat from an efficient natural gas heater can be 30% warmer, and you can get up to an $800 rebate when you install one. Warming up to natural gas yet? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. You have a choice. Energy that comes from burning dirty coal or energy from a clean natural source. Pensacola Energy Natural Gas. You have a choice. A bulky electric hot water heater that runs out of hot water or a sleek tankless water heater that gives you hot water for as long as you need it. Choose a natural gas tankless water heater and get up to $1,000 in rebates from Pensacola Energy. To learn more, call Pensacola Energy today. Heating water with electricity versus natural gas can cost twice as much, and tankless natural gas water heaters can add even more savings. So don't get soaked with higher energy costs. Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Welcome back. We're cooking today with the Hip Pocket Deli food truck, and George, you have finished our two poor boys. Tell us yes, about those. Our two special po' boys, our chicken marsala po' boy and our blackened uh, snapper with uh, pineapple mango salsa. Just two examples of what folks might find Absolutely. right at the food truck. Absolutely. And you've got two more dishes that we're going to yes, do we've right got, now. Yes, we've got two pitas we're going to do. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and toast off our pitas. Mm -hmm. And we've got an Athenian chicken pita and we've got a caprese pita we do. Uh, which the caprese we also offer on top of our salads. We do salads as well, Greek salad, chef salad. So we do offer, we do some special salads as well uh, mm -hmm. from time to time, West Indies and different things like that. But as far as the Athenian goes, we're gonna use, we're gonna put our tomatoes, our grape tomatoes in there. We use fresh basil that we chiffonade. So we put fresh mm -hmm. basil. We'll put some garlic, some shallots, some salt, some pepper. And then to really give it the flavor here in a second, what we'll do is we add some, some balsamic glaze and some olive oh. oil. So it's really, I try to add a little bit of uh, some healthy dishes as well that mm -hmm. taste well. Uh, you can add this on top of a salad as well, or you know, have it with, we put it on a pita with chicken. So um, sure. yeah, so we try to add some healthy dishes as well on there. Um, let's see. Caprese is one of my favorite salads. Oh yeah. Fresh mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. Oh, can't beat it. Caprese. Yes, ma'am. Fresh basil. Fresh tomatoes. It's fresh just tomatoes. We get our fresh tomatoes from a local. Fresh. To, the Tomato Joe has been servicing the area for a long time. I'd like to meet Tomato Joe sometime. He, I hear about Tomato he's Joe. He's a all great the time. guy. He's a great guy. We've all called him Tomato Joe and Tomato, tomato Pam Joe. for years. That's great, great, great people. That's good. They have uh, great tomatoes though. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh, very fresh tomatoes. So you're toasting our pitas. Toasting our pitas just like we would. We use our flat top on the in the grill. We have our big griddle, so same thing. So we'll okay. toast our pitas off. And then basically what we can do is we'll just... And you, you've got your chicken already pre-cooked. We're just going to heat yes. it up. Yes, what I did was I par-cooked my, my chicken. I pre-cooked it to where all we got to do is warm it up. So what we'll do, and I chopped it up and portioned it. Mm -hmm. So we'll just warm up some some chicken for it. Boy, this, that makes it quick and easy, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, exactly. Already. Especially in a truck, you got to have as much done as you can with as little mm -hmm. space. So you've got to have everything 
done and ready to I fire. I bet you are an organized operation. I, that, that, as far you as organized, I, I'm an organized person uh -huh. with all aspects of my life. I, some, sometimes a little more than, than I should be, but yeah, so organized, portioned, whatever uh -huh. whatever we can do to, to lessen the prep and all have right. a little more space, yeah. Which the other thing is about the truck is a lot of people say food trucks should only have a couple couple of items on the truck, specialize in you know, five, five, six mm -hmm. items and really knock it out. We carry a full menu. I know you do. So yeah, we carry a full menu on the truck and that's why right now we're trying to start, we're gonna try to start making baklava as well. We're gonna try to put some dessert on there because that's the one thing we are lagging baklava. is dessert. So. Okay, our viewers have heard baklava. You know yes. where to find it. Good, so and you may use it with honey. Yes, fresh honey from a local uh, honey farmer. So. Uh, like I said, we try to use as, as much mm -hmm. fresh as possible, so we're going to do some baklava coming up and add some, some desserts to it. Some of the great Danny Dale uh, desserts, right? Yeah, at, we're, we're going to definitely try to get a little bit of all recipes from, from, from all the family's oh, restaurants and is, try to put them so together great. on the truck. Yes, yes. ma'am. All right, so now chicken's warmed up. Go ahead and turn these all off. Now, as far as the pita goes for the Athenian mm -hmm. chicken, basically we'll just add some chicken to it, which, and this is the amount of chicken, like that I said, we, we portioned out. This is what you would get on your pita. Mm. All right. And then we mix the sauce all together. And as far as this, we'll just add, we'll add the sauce down it. And then what I always like to do, normally you can add whatever type of cheese you want. Mm -hmm. You know, we tend to use feta or here's some, some, some parm, mm -hmm. so we'll add some cheese to it. And then we might take a little glaze and then just add a little glaze over the top. What type of glaze is that? That's, That's balsamic a, balsamic, a, ba a balsamic glaze. And then on the truck, it depends if you want lettuce or not. Sometimes we'll, we'll add some lettuce to it to add a little Look at that. Roughage. That is beautiful. And then you've got a very tasty, healthy. And that's how it serves. Look how easy that is to eat. Brandon, this is wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. And then it is we'll food do to go. Food to go, yes. It and, really is. And what we do on the truck is everything's pretty much a package. The prices that we have, everything comes with drink chips and a pickle. Oh, so, okay. yeah, all the prices are included. We do free refills on tea. We do a hand squeezed lemonade every morning. We do. Um, so yeah, we, like I said, we try to use as fresh as possible and we want, uh, just like a restaurant, we want to use as many fresh ingredients as we can to play with. Mm -hmm. All right, as far as the Caprese Pita, we use the fresh tomatoes and we'll use our fresh mozzarella and we'll just stack down it. Put a nice little amount of mm -hmm. that and then a little shift knob we'll basil. do. Yeah, we'll chiffon out a little basil. We'll put some, some basil on this. We'll add a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper. And this is another dish as well that uh, uh, you can either eat this way or we can add chicken to it as well. That way if you want to add a little protein to it oh, or if you just okay. want like that. Or as well, uh -huh. people will, will add it to a salad as well. But we'll add a little olive oil, add a little salt and pepper. All right. Another great pita. Another great pita, yes ma'am. And then with this one, some people will add lettuce as well if they mm -hmm. want to do with the chicken. You know, we'll add our, add mm -hmm. our lettuce if they want to, chicken, whatever it might be. But a lot of people just will eat it plain. Or I've had people just ask me for the caprese appetizer, like you were saying. We'll, do uh -huh. just a, we'll make a bigger one for an appetizer for them. And that looks great. I can't wait to dig into all of this. This is going to be uh, quite a meal for me today. Thank Wouldn't you. Wouldn't you say? Well, I hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> I think we're going to, and we hope everybody at home will enjoy these. We're going to break for one more commercial break, and we'll be right back. Cooking with natural gas is more controlled than using an electric range. But more importantly, they're less expensive to operate. Don't get burned with electric. Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. You have a choice. Energy that comes from burning dirty coal or energy from a clean natural source. Pensacola Energy Natural Gas. 
you have a choice. A bulky electric hot water heater that runs out of hot water or a sleek tankless water heater that gives you hot water for as long as you need it. Choose a natural gas tankless water heater and get up to $1,000 in rebates from Pensacola Energy. To learn more, call Pensacola Energy today. Natural gas dryers may cost a little more than electric ones, but they dry clothes quicker, making them cost half as much to run. So now who's getting taken to the cleaners? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Did you know that BTU for BTU natural gas can be up to 50% cheaper than electricity? And did you know Pensacola Energy is offering rebates up to $1,000 when you switch from an electric water heater to natural gas? In the end, it's your money. You can put it in your pocket, or you can watch it go down the drain. Contact Pensacola Energy to learn how you can start saving now. Well, thank you, George and Brandon, for all of your hard work today and sharing these great recipes with us. Thank you for having us. It has been so much fun, hasn't it? Absolutely. Well, thank I've you. had fun, and I think and you guys, you just doing a food truck, yeah. you got to have fun, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, if you'd like written copies of today's recipes, you can call Pensacola Energy at 436-5050, or you can visit our website, www.coastalcooking.com. George, tell everyone where they can find the food truck in your hours. Okay, well, we, uh, we're at Barrancas and Old Quarry, and the, there's a shopping center right there, uh, right across from the Old Church's Chicken. Um, we're there from 10.30 to 3, Monday through Friday. Um, let's see what else. Uh, we do have, we, we just got a Hip Pocket Deli app, which you can, oh. you can go on the app, you can order your food, you can actually pay for your food and let us know when you want to pick it up. Um, that is great. Yeah. That, so, is, that is wonderful information for our viewers. Thank you. So we have that, and then we have our website at www.hippocketdeli.com. Mm -hmm. And here soon, we're working on getting deliveries to the area within a, within a certain area of the, for businesses of orders of four or more. We're going to try to get deliveries going here soon. Good deal. Yes, ma'am. And then... Um, what about for your catering events? If someone wants an event catered, they just call you? Normally, they'd call me. We sit down. We would talk about what they're, they're looking for. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. ma'am. Well, I can't, I can't think of anything else. I don't know how. Where, when you sleep. Well, you, you uh, seem to be so busy, but you the, got this guy to help we, you. That's how it. you do it. We do, but you? with a truck, yeah, you're absolutely right. It takes a little more, a little more effort than than, than a restaurant. Mm -hmm. We have to uh, make sure everything's on the truck, everything's prepped, everything's ready That's to go because right. it's not within. No, no running to the walk-in. Yeah, yeah, no running to the walk-in cooler to get it. So we have it's some organization, work. organization, organization, and location, location, location. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That, that kind of boils it all down. Just tell them about the website. Yes. Yes, we, absolutely. You can find out anything you want to know. Yes, Hip, hippocketdeli.com. Hippocketdeli.com. Okay, well, thank you again, gentlemen. And I think it's time to eat. What do you think? I think so. I think we should try it. Okay, well, we hope to see you again next week. We'll be here with more Coastal Cooking. This has been Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking is brought to you by Pensacola Energy, clean, efficient, natural gas. Join us each Sunday at 6 p.m. for more Coastal Cooking.